We call this video Snowed In Transportation for a good reason. Here in Missoula, Montana. We got about 14 inches of snow over the last 24, 30 hours. And we're heading downtown for a meeting from the university campus here in Missoula. So we'll do a little video videoing along the way to see how our mobility system is affected. I've been one of the only people on a bikes on a bike the last two days. A lot of people on foot, several people skiing, buses are running, a lot of people driving, although a lot less than usual. I've personally helped push many a car out of a stuck snow rut. This is a good path here. It takes a lot of effort to maintain transportation systems, especially in the winter. A great challenge is it doesn't happen too often. So you must mobilize people and equipment for these types of tasks that don't happen, but maybe half a dozen, dozen times a year. As a year-round cyclist, I don't expect nor need the bikeways to be perfect. In fact, I'm invigorated personally biking in the snow. There's a challenge, there's an adventure. It's the community up front. A little challenging biking with only one hand holding this camera. <clears throat> doable. Traffic is all slowed down. It's a slower pace in the winter when you get a snowstorm. You need a positive attitude. If you look at this surface, it's been cleared pretty well. Missoula this winter is utilizing a type of de-icer based on, I believe, sugarcane rather than petrol chemicals. We'll have to see how that works. Sounds great to go from fairly toxic materials to fairly organic, non-toxic. I've chosen to bike through this little parking lot section. That trail looks okay. The biggest challenge with uh, my bicycling, and you can hear it, is my drivetrain. It gets iced up. Nice cut through. It's important not only to plow systems, maintain them, also have them connect. That's the Van Buren footbridge. Key connection for everyone across the river. Looks really well maintained right now. We're on the river path. Another key connection through the heart of Missoula. Trails fairly clear. Doesn't have to be bare down to the pavement. It's important, in our opinion, to avoid major ruts, major blockages. And that's something you see on the, on the streets often. The plows get out there and it's primarily to make it passable for motor vehicles. In the process, the plows easily and often push snow across sidewalks, blocking crosswalks, making it more difficult to be a pedestrian when this may be the best time to be a pedestrian and avoid the hassle 
and strong potential danger of driving when surfaces can be more slippery, are more slippery. <clears throat> Hopefully my drivetrain on this bicycle will settle down, usually it does. Bicycle pedestrian bridge, the Madison Underbridge. This is taken care of by Parks and Rec Department. On drivetrain. Clark Fork River. Mount Jumbo. Mount Sentinel. And that's the Hellgate Canyon heading east. It opens up into East Missoula and then Bonner and Clinton and if you go north up the Blackfoot River. This must be a parks department device. No, maybe not. It looks like a private device. Plow. We really like brushes, sweepers, reserving the plow, the blade, for deep snows, such as this. Okay, this is difficult because it's rutted. So this trail's pretty good. Now this, I'll try it. I'm not gonna get far. That's trouble. This is a prime example of having good trails back there, maintained that is. And then this is really not bikeable unless you had some of those new bikes with maybe three inch tires. I'll stop here and we'll do a snowed in transportation number two. That'll focus a little more on the streets.